The goal of this video is to help you visualize the instrumentation, techniques, and expected outcomes in the Organic Chemistry Lab. In the previous video, we separated a mixture of hexane and toluene using fractional distillation. Here, I'll show you how to analyze the effectiveness of that separation. The main idea of chromatography is that we have some mixture in one state of matter moving over the surface of something else in another state. The moving substance is called the mobile phase, and the substance that stays put is the stationary phase. As the mobile phase moves, it separates out into its components on the stationary phase. In TLC, we saw a solid stationary phase, the plate, and a liquid mobile phase, the solvents in the chamber, moving the compounds that were deposited on the TLC plate. In GC, the solute components partition between a liquid stationary phase adsorbed onto a solid support in a column in an oven, and a gas mobile phase, usually helium. In most cases, compounds are eluded in order of boiling point, with the more volatile compounds moving more readily through the gaseous mobile phase. After your instructor programs in all the variables for your run, you should check it for the injection port temperature. Here you see it's 250 degrees Celsius. The column temperature, 65 degrees Celsius. The detector, or flame ionization detector, FID in this case, temperature, and that is 280 degrees Celsius. The carrier gas flow rate, and that's shown here to be 32.5 milliliters per minute. All of these variables will affect the retention time, or time it takes the sample to elute from the column. The instrument uses a robotic arm to inject a sample into the injector port. Here, the injection sample size is 0.5 microliters. Not only can the computer print out the chromatogram, but it automatically prints out a table containing the following data, retention time in minutes for each peak, area under each peak, and percentage of the total area. So as promised from the previous video, I'll share the data for fractions 1, 2, 7, 9, and 10. The GC trace for fraction 1 shows that it was 100% hexane, with a retention time of 0.713 minutes for hexane. Fraction 2 contained 94.7% hexane at 0.707 minutes and 5.3% toluene at 1.157 minutes. Fraction 7 contained 90.9% .9 hexane and 9.1% toluene. Fraction 9 contained 0.9% hexane and 99.1% toluene. And the last fraction, fraction 10, contained 100% toluene. This data shows that the very first fraction obtained and the very last fraction obtained from the Hickman still in a fractional distillation will be the most pure. Thanks for watching.